Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. I'd like to welcome you all to the show. I just want to give you a brief update on the CNN Wire. This was 13 hours ago. A man accused in a fatal stabbing of a black student at University of Maryland. The man that stabbed the brother was a member of the outright Facebook group, police says, and the outright Facebook group is the group that uh, Steve Bannon, who is an associate of Donald Trump, he founded the group. Now, a judge has denied bond for a white University of Maryland student accused of fatally stabbing young black student at a campus bus stop. Sean Christopher Urbanski, 22 of Savannah Park, Maryland, is charged with murder in the dead early Saturday of Richard Collins III, a 23-year-old, a recently commissioned U.S. Army second lieutenant who was due to graduate this week from nearby Boys State University. Urbanski is a member of a Facebook group called Alt-Right, which spews hatred towards minorities and especially African Americans. University of Maryland Police Chief David Mitchell said, given that evidence, the FBI is assisting the investigation as officials try to determine whether the incident was a hate crime, the agency announced. Now, why would they have to determine if it was a hate crime? When nine times out of ten, if a black man waiting at the bus stop, a white man comes up to him, stabs him with a knife, and leaves, that's a hate crime. Hate crime. Now, the irony of this is, is that when you see the picture of the brother who was stabbed, You'll notice that he's in full regalia uh, for the army, dressed to the T. He's willing to put his life on the line for his country. But yet, the one who feels like this, that this is his country, I guess because he's white, he feels like this is his country. He feels as though... Uh, that this person didn't belong here. So we're going to stab him, which makes no sense at all. Collins was just three days away from graduating from Boys State when he went to visit friends at the University of Maryland, the police chief said. About 3 a.m. Saturday, Collins and his friends were approached by Urbanski, police said. Urbanski started yelling bizarre commands at Collins. Witness said, according to the police, he said to the victim, Step left. Step left if you know what's good for you. The witness said, according to the police chief. The victim looked at him puzzled with the other friends of his and said, No, Mitchell said. It was then that the suspect... Urbanski stabbed the victim in his chest. Collins fell backward, Mitchell said. His friends tried to help him before university officers arrived and performed CPR, he said. Collins was pronounced dead at a hospital. Urbanski has been charged with first and second degree murder as well as first degree assault. At a bond hearing, Urbanski's attorney, William C. Vernon Jr. argued his client was intoxicated at the time of the alleged crime. Vernon declined to comment after court. Now he's saying that this young 23-year-old brother is dead because of intoxication. That doesn't fly. It's been a A pitch, a rallying cry, as if black people control America. 
Or is the hate in some so deep to where they can't see anything past it and we're still trying to get to the root of what is the hate in 2017? What, what, what foundation or grounds do a racist have to justify hate towards a black is it that it's uh, embedded in some is it something that we need to address on a larger scale and the reason I'm saying this is because it's been going on too long 2017 are we will, we will we continue to see it through 2018, 2019? Will it go all the way to 2050? I mean, is there an ending point? Every year, whether you're dealing with police brutality or just the a, a citizen who has hate in their heart for another race goes out and commits a murder in an unjustified cause uh, or you know be honest with you or I believe that uh, it's some psychological uh, component uh, in the minds of some it's, uh, is, is it fueled by media uh, is he saying that uh, I'll play the hero role and defend white people against what? I mean what we we're trying to get to the the underlying uh factors that leads up to so many uh racial hate incidents in America. We're trying to figure out what's motivating these men and these women some say it's the Trump effect. Some say that uh, it's the fact that the uh, white population is shrinking and they're making an attempt to strike out. Some say it's the fact that they don't like the browning of America. Yeah, but all of these is nothing that we control if you're angry at someone, blame God. If you're upset at someone, blame God. He created the black man and woman from his, out of his image and from his likeness. That's why the new term, as Brother Farrakhan stated, for black people in America is the original man and the original woman of the planet Earth. So so an original man was stabbed at the bus stop by a white supremacist in a hate crime attack. And if you Pull him to the side and you ask him, why'd you do it? Most often, the response is, we want our country back. They're trying to take over our country. When we don't even own the neighborhoods we live in. We don't own 60% of the businesses in our community. We don't own the banks. We're not the CEOs of Apple and these large corporations who are turning people down for jobs or who are not hiring anyone. We're not uh, shaping the fabric or the direction of this country. Or maybe he felt like, or maybe they feel like we're just easy targets that you know, we're the people that you can take your frustration out on when someone's upset. 
and that day is over. We're not the whooping boy for America. So as soon as that message get across that the original man and the original woman is not the whooping boy and girl for America. Those days are gone. It ended. No one would stand by and just be uh, a victim to somebody else's hate and extreme views. It it has to end. But yeah, it's a sad story. Young black man, he's trying to serve and protect this country. Go into the military, do good for himself, create a future for himself, minding his own business with friends at a bus stop, and he's gone just like that. I mean, it's ridiculous. But sometimes we have to bring you uh, stories such as this to keep the people aware. Stay on your toes. I mean, we still living in a time where a black person can be standing at a bus stop and wound up killed, murdered by a savage young man with a warped sense of reality uneducated because if he was educated he'd understand we don't run the country but yet we won't be the whooping boy for the country verbal pig radio we're out